So I turned 30 over the weekend. Um, I'm just going to straight up and start the vlog with that. It was an interesting birthday actually. We didn't really do much because we couldn't do much. So any plans that we had, and I did make some plans with some friends before um, all this started happening, just sort of went out the window. Yeah, so I had to spend the birthday at home, which was fine actually. I had a pretty good time. Um, Sally made it a really great day. We she made some breakfast for me instead of us going out somewhere and we enjoyed that. Um, played some games online with some friends. Been playing a lot of Sea of Thieves recently. So it's been a lot of fun. So kind of had a pirate party, I guess, just like a kid would. Sally got me, let me find it. <clears throat> the little book of Hige. Um, you would have heard us talk a lot about that in our vlog when we're in um, Denmark and um, I really enjoyed that concept and I really enjoyed Denmark and Copenhagen was one of my favorite cities I went to so um, She knew I liked that book and she got me that she also got me something else But it's still on its way because I had to pick out the color and the size of what the thing is um, But I'll show you that when that comes in at 30 um, I don't know I've sort of been excited to hit 30 in, in a way because um, I always had this mentality that um, I would put everything off until I'm 30. I'll figure life out when I'm 30. But life right now is really complicated because this virus has sort of thrown a spanner in the works of everything. Um, there's not much you can do at the moment. Um, I don't know, I was probably going to go back to university or something, but I don't know what's going on with that. And yeah, it's a sort of ruined the plans of like, I'll wait until I'm 30 to figure it out. But you know what, that's probably a life lesson. Uh, don't put things off. If you want to do something, just do it now. Even though I'm 30, I still don't know what's going to happen. I thought it'd be some sort of magical number you hit and then you go, oh, I know what I'm going to do with my life. But you know what, I feel pretty much the same as I did when I was 29. <laughs> it's just that I'm 30. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and look what just arrived. This is Keith's birthday present. But someone's too busy playing Overwatch to open it right now. Me. Excuse me. Stuck to me. <laughs> it's all pretty and, and wrapped. It's wrapped up. It's heavy. Oh, that's heavy. You like my wrapping? Yeah, some great wrapping. Happy birthday, Katie. Love you lots and lots. Hope you enjoy the gift. Wait, is that it? There's more. Oh, okay. Listen, I wrote... See if I read it, then everyone knows what it is before oh, I open it. Mm. I wrote more than that. Excuse me. <laughs> well, it's... Mm. France. Mm. Oh, that's heavy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good size, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we were really stressed about the size. Oh yeah. I think it's a good size. It's like wider than I thought it would be actually. I thought it would be deeper. Yeah, I thought so too. Oh well, it's still good. It's a Le Creuset French oven. It's really heavy. Does it feel solid? Yeah. It weighs like 20 kilos. We've got Sally dicing up some onions, a couple of tins of tomatoes, four tins of beans, because we have a lot of beans to get through. Four? Three tins of beans. No, I can't count. That's all our beans. And then we've got the French oven heating up. It's really cool on the stove. And what are we making? Chili. Let's open the freezer. We need zucchini, a bit frozen, frozen capsicum because we didn't have any fresh stuff. And we're just going to throw all that into here and make some chili.
No, but in my mouth. Right, he's that finished chili. You have to taste it. Yeah, but it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Mmm, it's good, girl. What do you want me to say? <laughs> You're filming it, are you? I am filming. No. It's in your parcel song. Someone's excited for his parcel. <laughs> Hey guys, it's May 6th, Wednesday. Um, so yeah, Keith's got a parcel coming. He's basically building a new computer for whatever reason. I don't know, he explained it, but basically he's upgrading his computer and he's ordered from a couple of different places and everything came pretty quick, like standard delivery time, except for this one thing from Scorp Tech has taken like two weeks to get here. Even though it was express post, I know they've got crazy delays right now, but like, it's kind of ridiculous. But it's here now, and he's going to go pick it up, and then he'll be building that all day today. This is just a vlog of Keith opening things and getting things. <laughs> so it's all there. I think so. I was concerned because it was all in a small box. But I thought everything was really small. He said he was concerned that every it was a small box, but all the stuff, like individual parts, are small. But I'm building a mini computer, so that makes sense. He said he's building a mini computer. <gasps> I can show you the other things. Um, it's all been sitting here as a pile, just waiting, waiting for it to be built. I've been waiting two weeks for all the parts to come. So the Australia Post has been absolutely terrible with this sort of stuff, all the lights so bad in here but got, finally got all my computer parts after a long two weeks and it's my motherboard CPU power supply uh, I still have the box of the graphics card but I've been using that for a while on my old PC uh, got my radiator cooler some new RAM new hard drive I'm gonna whack it all into this little guy this is the H210i Mini ITX case because I wanted to build a Mini ITX PC. First step, installing the CPU into the motherboard. Into this little slot, we'll put our little hard drive. Got ourselves a one terabyte That's SSD. Hard drive is. Yeah, it's tiny, isn't it? So cute. Yep, just slots into there. Oh, I can't do this with one hand. Click! And that's one motherboard. Forgot to say that I put the RAM in before. Sort of a given. And I think he's ready to be mounted. Okay, I've got a motherboard sitting in there nicely. Just have to screw it in so it's properly mounted. And then we will move on to plugging it in, I guess. Hey guys, good morning. It's the next day, it's Thursday. Um, where did Keith leave you off? In terms of his computer, uh, well, the living room is a complete mess. Um, basically, as far as I understand, there is his power supply thing. The cord for it is not long enough, so he's ordered a extension cord for it from Scorp Tech. So we're going to go pick that up. And then we're also going to go to the Korean grocery store because it's like semi on the way and we may as well do that because well, one, we don't own a car so he's gone right now um, on the train to go to his grandma's house to pick up her car so we can borrow it for the weekend because we also ordered a click and collect from Ikea because like some of the stuff that we wanted initially that was out of stock is now back in stock so yeah, that's what we're doing over this weekend. And I just wanted to show you that I am wearing real pants. I'm wearing jeans for the first time in weeks. And I got like all dressed up and stuff because that's what I do now. <laughs> I felt like it. And um, I really want to get my hair cut because it's so freaking long. But after quarantine, that that's what's going to have to happen. And we're back. And this is our haul from the Korean supermarket. It says everything you need to survive in quarantine as a Korean. Pepero. 
peperu. Kimchi. More kimchi. And and more kimchi. Uh, I'm stocking up on that. Kimchi dumplings. Vegetable dumplings. More vegetable dumplings. Um, Tenjang or soybean paste. It's the base of like a million soups and stuff. And then the other one is gochujang. That's chili paste. Um, what it? Canned coffee. That's Keith's. Banana milk because. Banana Yes. Um, we're gonna try this. This is jajang sauce paste, black bean paste. I don't know, I've never tried that before, but we're gonna try that. And then got some more sesame oil because sesame oil is literally the only oil Koreans seem to use. And we saw this. This is makgeolli. This is a uh, rice. It says in English, rice makgeolli. Like, that's going to help someone. It's like a rice wine. Chestnut. Here we go. Korean traditional rice wine. It's chestnut. It's chestnut. Oh. Uh, yeah. I guess it's got pictures of chestnuts. Are those chestnuts? It's like gnocchi. Anyways, Keith really likes this. I, I'm not a huge fan. I like the flavoured ones, but mm, Keith wanted it. I told Keith he's only allowed to have this if he can say it properly. Peppero. Peppero. Yeah, that was, that was better. How come you couldn't say it before? You didn't bring it funny. Update on the computer. It's all done. It's got fun lights inside. And it's really cute, like in comparison to the old one. So cute and small. All right, change of plans. We're going to actually go do our IKEA pickup tonight. We're going to do that tomorrow morning instead. But it's we got a text saying it's ready to pick up, so may as well just do it today and get it all over and done with. All right, IKEA. We just picked up our stuff, and this was with our order, but we didn't order this, so I don't know if they just threw it in there or. It was a mistake. <laughs> Either way, I'm not complaining. Here we tried a bit, and um, this is it, sh it should be called chocolate, not good. <laughs> it's very average. And we're back from IKEA. Here's just some of the stuff that we bothered to bring up. Grab the rest tomorrow morning. Um, but I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I don't know. There's nothing else to vlog. We're just going to build this stuff tomorrow. It's just like storage for the wardrobe and some stuff in the kitchen. But yeah, show you that, show you guys that in a future vlog. But anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.